Hello, it's PVS. I'm sure some of you have come this across this type of questions in the paper one, paper two, but I'll show you the steps how, on how you can answer. The symbol, this you are seeing here, it just means integrate. Now we know how to integrate. When integrating, we need to increase the power by one, then you divide by the new power. So step one, when answering this type of question, before I go anywhere, you, you, you are just finding the area. Let me just say this, sign. Eh? This is zero, this is two. You are finding this area. But using calculus, you are going to find the actual area. We know how to use using mensulation. But using calculus, you are going to find the actual area in this curve dime. That's what we are talking about in short. Then, uh, first step one is you integrate this. How do you integrate? You increase the power by one and you divide that by the new power. Then a constant gains an x plus c. This is what we you integrate now you just now need to replace the same thing which I've done here watch as I do it you put to the put zero there so you are finding the area between the two and the zero so I'm going to replace two where there's X all right plus two there minus I'm also going to replace zero uh, where there is, uh, sorry, I'll replace it zero here. Where there's x plus two, then zero. That's all. Then three, two, 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 two to the power three is eight over three. Two, two times two is four. Anything this side will give us what? Zero. Now this is over one. Let's find the common denominator. That's four. Sorry. That's 3. 3 into 3 is 1 times 8. You get 8 plus 1 into 3 is actually 3 times 4. You get 12 minus 0. So 12, 8 plus 12, you get 20. That by what? 3 minus 0. 20 over 3 minus 0 is just the same as 20 over what? 3. You can leave it like this. Or if it's in paper 1, leave it like this. 20 over 3 square units. Remember its area. Or you, you can say this will be 6 point because not 3 can go into 6, uh, sorry, into 20. That is 6 times. Uh, remember to, so this is 6.67 units squared. Is that clear? Let's look at another one. All right, we have this one here. We'll do the same. Step one, we need to integrate the what is inside. So how do we integrate? We increase the power. So we'll say 3x to the power 3 over 3 plus this will be 4x squared over 2. Remember I said the constant gains an x plus c. Then what we do, this can cancel. 2 can go there 2 times. So we are, we are going to remain x to the power 3 plus 2 like this. Remember there's 2 and x and x squared there minus 2x here plus c so what we need is we do this we put our 2 there and negative 1 there so we're just finding the difference between the two sorry about that so i can write it here for you so we have 2 to the power 3 plus 2 then you put 2 inside then squared minus 2 then you put 2 like that right minus then next is negative 1 we have negative 1 to the power 3 plus 2 negative 1 squared minus 2 negative 1 like that. So let's continue. So 2 to the power 3 is 8 plus. Don't multiply first. Do what is in bracket. 2 times 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 you get 8. Negative times positive. That's you gave you in positive. Negative 4 sorry. Minus. Uh, what is here is negative to the negative 1 to the, to the power 3 will give you negative 1. And this is negative 1 squared is positive 1. Positive 1 times 2 will give you positive 2. Negative times negative will give me positive 2 there. So here I have 8 plus 8 is 16 minus 4 minus. Here I have negative 1 plus 4. Remember we first have to add four body mass here. This is uh, 12 minus. This is what? 3. So 12 minus 3, what do we get? We get actually 9 square units. And that was our 5 
or that was my five minutes exam revision see you next time